Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Maze Patrol Tips and Tricks. If this is your first time here, my name is Phil, and I teach people how to set up and run a Mazak CNC lathe while programming it with Maze Patrol. If you want to see more of this type of content, be sure to click that subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss anything. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set the Z point of a tool with an edge angle of less than 90 degrees. You cannot set this type of tool directly with the probe, so I'm going to show you how to set it. Mazatrol does not program to the center line of the tool, rather the machine uses the tangent point of the radius next to the edge to set Z. I'll explain everything in the video. Alright, let's get started. Alright, here's the tool that we're going to be probing. This is a 35 degree diamond VBMT 332 with a 31 thousandths radius and it has a primary angle of 72.5 degrees and a 35 degree included angle and because the tool is less than 90 degrees we need to probe this corner right here but we can't actually accurately probe using the tool set. So what we're going to do is we're going to probe the side of the holder here and then probe X and then we're going to use another tool to create some geometry on a dummy part which then we're going to set this final Z dimension. I'll get into that in a minute. So right now All right, the tool that we're going to set, this is going to be tool number two. So we'll go here to tool data. And tool two is a three quarter inch diameter uh, stick tool. 31 thou and two tenths radius and an MO4 direction and it's a left handed tool. Cutting angle, the first angle is 72.5 degrees and the cutting angle is 35 degrees. So 72.5 and 35. And tool two is blank. So now let's bring the tool probe down and set the tool. Alright, what we're going to do is probe and set X and then we're going to set Z on the side of the tool. Push the down button. Feed downward. Feed up. Turn it off. And then move over to the side of the tool. Now we're done probing the tool. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put a piece of stock in the machine and cut a 45 degree angle on it with a tool that's already probed. So that way we can set that way we can set this corner on the 45 degree angle. So let's create a 45 real quick. Program file. Work number 71. Aluminum. Now 
we're going to run it with tool 4 linear and here's our chamfer store scale so what we're going to do is we're going to cut a dummy part a 45 degrees so that way we have something to set tool number two file and there's our turning tool and our stock and we're going to rough it and finish it so auto going on now we'll just leave the cooling off for this one all right We have a nice angle. So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch the tools to tool two, finish it with tool two, and then rerun the program. So single process, finish two, input. And then we're going to turn the feed rate down and then stop the machine halfway through the part. So right about there, push feed hold, reset. So this is where the machine thinks the tool is at, but in reality, it's about a quarter inch away. So go into manual. Push zero input. And now that cleared out the and now that cleared out the Z position. So now we can get a relative measurement. What we're gonna do is start up the spindle. And now we're going to move Z until it touches the workpiece. Right about there. We went in a little too far. And then stop the spindle. So the number we need to account for is 244 thousandths for this Z dimension right here to the front edge of that radius. So 244. So what we're gonna do is go to the tool set screen And then we're going to minus 244 off of this already negative number. So we're going to make this number bigger. So 
So minus 17, 7, 7, 8, 1, minus another 244 thousandths equals minus 18.0221 input. So now we have the tool probe to the correct position. So now let's rerun the program. Single process, F2. And we're gonna watch the tool barely skim the face of that chamfer. And there it is. That's how you set the tool. And that's how you set a tool with an angle less than 90 degrees. And that's how to set tools with an angle of less than 90 degrees in the machine. On the next video, I'm gonna show you guys how to program using that tool I just set. So stick around for that. If you like what you see, go ahead and push that subscribe button and click the bell so you won't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching.